Assalamu alaikum, hi friends, Jumma Mubarak, happy Friday. In line with it being Jumma today, I wanted to share my review of a product that I've been loving with my kids over the last couple of months and I feel is instrumental in their Islamic education. Now, we're all aware of the importance of the five daily prayers and given kids start learning about it from the age of seven, I think many of us can agree that we want to give them the most positive introduction to prayers at that age and that's where my salam at comes into play now i've just posted a review on my instagram feed um, explaining the different ways it can benefit kids but here i'm just going to demonstrate the product features and how it actually works this is what the mat looks like it's a pretty good size for kids and it comes with these three books the first one is this activity book, which just kind of makes things a bit more interesting in terms of learning so it's got some activity puzzles color matching crossword uh, essential du'as that you can learn. You can also probably cut them off and put them up somewhere if you wanted. And a quiz at the end just to reinforce all the concepts and things you've learned. The second one is this guide, um, age-wise guide for parents, which I particularly love. As I have a three-year-old and a six-year-old, so this book offers suggestions on how best to use the mat according to your child's age, because obviously their abilities to understand and learn are going to be different. So you have some for three to four, four to six, seven to nine, and then 10 year olds as well and finally is this manual which helps to explain the different features and functions of the mat I mean when you first look at it it might seem like there's a lot going on but actually they've got these very um, useful diagrams which help to explain exactly what each key and color corresponds to however I'm going to show you how this works so you can see how easy it actually is these keys beginning from the start one going all the way up across and down is the entire procedure of prayer and it starts with the wudu or wuzu as we used to call it um, which is cleaning yourself before starting your prayer qibla which is the direction you face while praying adhan which is a call to prayer the red keys are the explanations of the different positions, postures and steps in the prayer. The blue keys are what has to be recited for that step and the orange keys just explain what each step is called. So for instance, this is called the beer. Uh, when you press this key, it's going to tell you what it is and the blue one, when you press it, will tell you what you need to recite. So I'm going to switch it on first. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as -salam. And then you press takbir. Takbir is when we say Allahu Akbar at the start of the prayer with our hands raised up. Allahu Akbar. Another great feature of this mat is after your first Surah Fatiha, most of us recite Surah class and get done with it because it's the shortest. Um, that's what I was taught first and I've kind of stuck to it. But you have an, um, an option of all these other Surahs as well instead of Surah class. So it's a great chance to teach kids from the start and it's a great opportunity for adults like myself who've forgotten a few of these Surahs to learn it again with my kids. One of the highlights of this mat is the sounds can be played in seven different languages and if your native language happens to be one of them, you're in for a treat. So this is where you change it from. English Al Arabiya Hofi Bahasa Indonesia Rakyat Malaysia Chichi Urdu That's me. So if you come onto the side, let's click on Qayam. Qayam ka matlab khade ho na. हम नमाज के दौरान अपना सीधा हाथ उल्टे हाथ पर रखकर खड़े होते हैं कर खड़े होते हैं now all these keys surrounding the mat can be seen as your teaching guide. These are explanations of all the postures, positions, recitations that you need in order to perform and this bit in the middle is the actual performance of Salah. To start the prayer, you're going to stand where the feet marks are and once you do that, the mat sensors um, detect your feet and the prayer starts. Once the prayer starts, none of these keys will work and that's from disrupting the prayer while the older sibling prays. 
which is Subhan Rabbil Allah, will not be recited unless you are in that position. And once that's been recited, the Allahu Akbar when you sit back up will not be recited unless you have removed your hands, nose and your forehead from that. Um, and that to me is such an amazing way of reinforcing the concepts and making the child understand that the prayer isn't just going to go on without them um, figuring out the step properly. And that brings me to the conclusion of these review stories. I honestly believe this is one product that's going to last for many, many years. And it's something that the kids can get involved, not only among their own siblings, but you know, when you have like cousins over of um, the postures that she needs to take. She obviously doesn't know the surahs, but she's got a while to do that. But it's kind of, you know, introduce that concept to her and she sees me pray. She sees, you know, family um, pray. So it just kind of gets them thinking about it. Um, Thank you friends for staying with me till the end to see the product features um, but if you head over to my Instagram post you can see a long list of benefits there which you can only realise after using the mat and I've done that so um, it could potentially help you in your decision to buy The reason why you see me talk about it so much is because the mat retails for £45 and for me it's one of those products which is not a gamble because you can only benefit from it and for a very very long time so thank you to my seller mat for an invention that is going to earn them praises from parents all across the world and i look forward to more such amazing products from you